She came in for a routine checkup, nothing dramatic, but as I flipped through her medications, one caught my eye. Alopurinol. Do you have gout? I asked. No, she said. I just had knee pain sometime last year, so I went to the pharmacy. They ran a uric acid test and it was high. Then they gave me this drug. Every month, I meet people taking this drug for the wrong reasons. Today, let's talk about uric acid, allopurinol, and the silent harm of treating a number instead of treating the patient. You may be surprised by what you learn. So, what exactly is uric acid? It's actually a natural waste product your body makes when it breaks down substances called purines. You get purines from some of the foods you eat, like red meat, fish, beer, and also from normal turnover of cells in your body. Now, once formed, uric acid travels through your blood to the kidneys, where most of it is filtered out in the urine. A small amount stays in your blood, and that is actually normal. The problem starts when too much uric acid is produced or too little is removed. Here is where the confusion starts. A lot of people and even some health workers see a high uric acid result and assume it must be a serious problem. But the truth is, up to 10% of adults may have elevated uric acid and feel completely fine. This is called asymptomatic hyperuricemia and it doesn't need treatment. You don't treat a lab number, you treat a disease. And unless that number is causing problems like recurrent gout attacks, kidney stones, or a specific medical condition, starting medication could be more harmful than helpful. So when exactly is it the right time to use allopurinol? Let's break that down next. Allopurinol is a prescription drug that works by reducing how much uric acid your body produces. But here's the important part. It's not for just anyone with a little joint pain and a high uric acid result. This medication is meant for people with chronic long-term problems linked to uric acid. Now let's take gout for example. A lot of people think that the moment you feel a joint pain, and your uric acid is high, you have got gout and need allopurinol. But that is not true. Gout actually comes in two phases. First, there is what we call acute gout. This is when you suddenly develop a hot red swollen joint, usually the big toe or ankle. It is actually a very painful situation and it needs fast acting medications like NSAIDs or a drug called colchicine and not allopurinol. Then there is chronic gout. This is when you've had repeated gout attacks or you've de uh, developed a um, deposit of uric acid crystals in your joints which we call TOFI. Um, that's when we use drugs like allopurinol to lower your uric acid levels um, over time and um, prevent uh, future attacks. But here is the key, key takeaway. You don't start allopurinol during an acute gout attack and you don't start it just because your uric acid is high and your knee hurts. In fact, and we'll talk about this fully in our next video, diagnosing gout is not as simple as joint pain plus high uric acid level. There is much more to it and many people are actually being misdiagnosed. Here is when allopurinol is actually used. Chronic gout, uric acid kidney stones, tumor lysis syndrome, and certain genetic or enzyme disorders. If your doctor tells you to start allopurinol, it should be for one of these conditions, not just because your uric acid is a bit high. Here is what many people don't realize. Taking allopurinol when you don't need it can actually be dangerous and sometimes even life-threatening. There's something we call allopurinol hypersensitivity syndrome. It's rare but a deadly reaction. It can cause severe skin rash, kidney failure and liver damage and even death. And it doesn't stop there. Starting allopurinol 
doing an undiagnosed joint problem can actually trigger or worsen a gout attack, the very thing you are trying to avoid. But here's the saddest part. In our environment, many people just walk into a pharmacy, say I have joint pain and they are handed allopurinol. No diagnosis, no prescriptions, no questions asked. Some take it just because their friend or family member is using it for similar pain. I've seen patients on allopurinol for months or even years and when I ask who prescribed it, they say no one, I just got it from the chemist. Now that's how treating a lab number or copying someone else's medication turns into a lifetime of unnecessary risk. So what should you do if your joint hurts or if you have just been told your uric acid is high? Step 1. See a doctor. Don't diagnose yourself. Let a trained professional decide if you truly need treatment. Step 2. Understand that a high uric acid level does not mean you need medication, especially not allopurinol. Step 3. If your doctor confirms you have chronic gout, meaning repeated flares or visible deposit of uric acid called tophi, then long-term medications like allopurinol may be helpful. But if you are having an acute gout attack, or just joint pain and one high uric acid um, level test. This is not the time to start allopurinol. It could even make things worse. And finally, if you are already on allopurinol and you are not sure why, don't panic. Just bring it up with your doctor. Let's review if you actually need it. Now, you might be wondering, how can I even tell if I have gout in the first place? This is exactly what we'll be breaking down in the next video. We've cleared up a lot of confusion today about uric acid and allopurinol, but we are not done yet. In my next video, we'll answer the big question, how is gout really diagnosed? Spoiler alert, it is not just about uric acid tests. I'll show you the symptoms, the warning signs, and what to look out for so you or your loved ones don't end up on the wrong treatment. So if you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and follow me right here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on TikTok and Facebook. I'm Dr. Chooks. Let's keep unlocking medical wisdom. One video at a time.